love, when you're in romantic love with somebody, it's like you're building something. You're building, let's say, like a a, a temple, yeah? And the temple's got several pillars, yeah? Yeah, yeah? In the beginning, for me, attraction is one of the strongest pillars. Like, you know, like when you build a temple or when you build a structure, you have certain like poles that yeah. if you break that pole, the whole building collapses. Yeah. And then you have other poles where it's just like, okay, this is just helping with stability. But if you take it apart, then it doesn't necessarily mean that the whole structure kind of collapses. Initially, love, I mean, attraction is a core module. So it's like a core pillar. But as you grow through love, you start to build these other pillars they become stronger. Once you've got like seven, eight, nine, ten pillars around your core pillars, they can maintain the structure even if you take the core pillar away. Yeah, essentially. that's yeah, a good yeah, analogy. Yeah. You guys are yeah, snapping no, with the good, analogies, man. man. I hate this one. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. I'm under pressure now. I need to bring him <laughs> on. Liberty, 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 Cool. Right. I've got a question. I'm just going to ask the question outright, the way Eman gave me the question. Yeah. Is love blind? We're going to do it like this, yeah? yeah. Eman starts, yeah? Give you about two minutes to speak. Is love blind? Yes, no, why? Shake goes, is love blind? Yes, no, why? I'll go, is love blind? Yes, no, why? Then we'll get into a discussion, yeah? Okay, cool. Is love blind, Eman? Oh. oh, this is a tough question. It's a tough question. It's, it's not easy. Like, it's not easy to answer the question. I'm going to say no. That's my own personal opinion. Love isn't blind, but you can see the question twofold, right? So the idiom love is blind. People normally think if you're in a relationship and you love someone, but someone external to that relationship can see there's loads of negative things happening in that relationship but because you don't think you don't think rationally you feel like you ignore all the negatives of your partner that there's that love is blind yeah, yeah. but then there's love is blind in terms of attraction. the show so attraction like could you fall in love with someone blindly basically yeah, without yeah. seeing them good, so there's good. there's two questions yeah. he there. opened it out he opened it out nicely as well yeah. I didn't even think about I didn't, that I, didn't, I don't want to even acknowledge that other one <laughs> that first one yeah, that's for another discussion that's for another discussion yeah, yeah, we're going to chuck that to the let's side but on, thank you for that let's focus on this one let's focus on the second one yeah yeah but like my answer to that is no so you couldn't be with somebody you're not attracted to no I couldn't I think that's the same for everyone. If not, they're lying. There has to be some form of attraction. There has to be. What do you think about, what do you think about the show Love is Blind and then Arranged Marriages? Do you think that's all propaganda, fakery? It's, do you want to go into it? Or, should, we, should we talk about the premise of where, where this conversation stems from? Go on, go on. Go to, so fill obviously, me in, fill me in. we've all watched the show Love is Blind. Yeah. Um, it's a show where you get like 30 contestants, 15 men, 15 women, go into a house, but they can't see each other. They converse, have conversations, and then if they feel like they've got a bond with someone, then they decide whether to propose to them or not. Yeah. Then when they do propose, they go live in a house for a couple of days and decide whether to get married, essentially. The show's crazy, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's like 30 days or something, so how can you know if you love someone in 30 days? Like, it's a bit mad. But that's where this conversation has stemmed from. Mm -hmm. And I just feel personally, like, I feel like we need to define what love is first, bro. Yeah. What, what is love? Ooh, it means it's, it's, there's no universal definition for love, isn't it? It's mad. Me and my, my cousin were talking about this essentially. Like, if how would you describe love? Yeah, describe it to you us. You describe love, so, and then see does that I'm, align? I'm gonna describe love for me, and then I'm gonna describe the perception of love in the context of love is blind. Okay. The question, yeah. So love for me is when you would do anything for someone, like you would do nearly anything for someone. You think about them every day. I think that's very important. You think about them every day. 
and you just feel this like intense connection to somebody. I'm talking about romantic love, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about romantic love. So yeah, like you feel an intense connection to somebody almost as if they're attached to your entity. Like I love the, the analogy of like having a limb, like as in like a limb is, is very important to your life. When you have it, you grow used to having that limb. You don't know what it's like without that limb, but it's essential to your everyday functioning. If you was to lose that limb, you can definitely live on. 100% you could live on. But you know that something is missing from your life, essentially. Like, you're always going to understand that something is missing from your life, essentially. That's what love is to me. Like, when you feel that for another person where it's like, if they're gone from your life, something is is missing that's what love is to me okay. in the context of love is blind i think in relation to the show and the question i just think that basically means like can you get into a relationship maybe not love maybe not in love can you get into a relationship with somebody first without knowing what they look like that's basically the premise of the show yeah. can you grow a can you grow a romantic connection to somebody without knowing what, what they, look they look like, like yeah can, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I agree with that. With 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 your definition of a love, I'll expand that a little bit more. For me personally, just like a, a raw emotion, and where you do irrational things because of this like emotion. It's like it's like it's like a different part of your brain which triggers and how you would deal with things normally. But then, like that emotion there, kind of clouds things. It's so like you're, you're, you're saying you can't be rational and be in love at the no, same no, time? No, I think there's, you can be rational, but there's times when you're like, you're thinking, you know, when you said... You, it pushes you, you push, to a rational level. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you do things in love that you just wouldn't really do, isn't it? And that's a common like phrase, isn't it? Because there is like, there's like an, a brain thing or like a, a urge or whatever to just behave like that in a way that you wouldn't behave in any other situation or scenario in it. But like I agree with you, yeah, go on, Andy, man. No, no, I was just gonna touch on what Deji said as well earlier because he distinguished love with romantic love. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think love is blind, as in general love. Yeah, yeah. But romantic love but isn't blind. blind. But but then yeah, you touched up on the point of like um, arranged marriages. So do you think someone can go into an arranged marriage where they may not be attracted to that person, but grow? to love that person and then be attracted to that person. Can you not be attracted? Have you ever been in a situation here where you didn't, you didn't find someone attractive, like not even someone that you're romantically involved with, just someone like a celebrity or like an yeah. actor or something like that. But the more you've grown to know that person, like and seen aspects of their personality, they're like, you know what? She's kind of looking different now. Like, have you, have, you, have, you, have you ever had that feeling before? I've had that to an extent. I've had I've had people that I'm attracted to their personality for sure. But they just become it doesn't become anything sexual or even romantic. It just becomes a very platonic. Like my, I've noticed my I've said this to my best female friends. Yeah. My best female friends are the people in my life that I've come across that have the best personalities. The females that I've come across that have the best personalities for me essentially, but there's no attraction there. That's so I think, I think for me personally, I couldn't grow to love somebody if I wasn't attracted to them. Like I have to be very attracted to you. I couldn't grow to love you. It would never get to the extent of love. I see attraction like a personality trait, essentially. Like yeah. if you're not caring or if you're not maybe funny or if you're not smart, like that doesn't mean I can't like you. I can't, I can't. I'm never going to like you, but it just means that it's essential for me. It's a core module. It's a core module in my romantic relationships that I have to be attracted to you. So love isn't blind for me. Whether love is blind for other people, that's another question where it's very, very difficult for me to answer because... Yeah, I, it's cap. You think it's oh, cap? you think it's cap? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. So that's exactly what I was going to get to. Like, you said you think love is a personality trait. I feel like it's an emotion. Like, love is, a, is an emotion. Happiness is an emotion. But the way everyone receives love is different. So what makes me happy, it's not the same thing that's going to make you happy. Yeah. You like playing basketball. Deji likes playing football. We both like playing football. Football makes us happy. We get like a build-up of um, dopamine from football. Yeah. But you'll probably get a bigger build-up of dopamine from basketball. Yeah. And that's the same thing with love. 
So we need that physical attraction for us to build up that dopamine. Yeah, but there's but other yeah, people yeah, hunt, hunt, yeah. Yeah, that agree, don't need agree, it as agree, much. Agree, so I agree. And, and, that's and you don't true. only get your dopamine from the attract, the physical attraction as well. You get it from other things, 100%. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, a, that's, that's a good point, Iman, yeah. But if you were in a romantic relationship, all of that's important, right? Mm. But then, you know, in most people's situation, they would want to procreate, you know, have a, a sexual relationship. Isn't it? Could Do you think these people are comfortable to go and get sexual with someone, yeah, that they just have dopamine connections with on basketball and football? Like, there has to go and be something, like, more physical. Like, you've got a... But like, you, 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 need, you need to be physically attracted to somebody to maybe enjoy sex or even have, like, an erotic... That's the word I'm going to use. Erotic sexual relationship with somebody. You don't need to be attracted to them with them to just procreate. Yeah, 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 100%. To mate, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we're talking about love, can can you love someone? <laughs> yeah, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah. that already. Romantically love someone. You guys. romantically love someone, yeah, that you're not attracted to. So you're going to have just standard sex here. Yeah, not, not like, not even, imagine like you're just, you, you, it's, it's like a function. It's not even a part of that relation, like the relationship. You can't, you can't, you can't separate the two because of the way you think. But there's other people who think differently than you. Hundred percent. What do you call them? Is it demisexual? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, I know, they're not I know, attracted I know, I know, physically. And to you're, what you're saying makes complete sense, but it's so foreign to me. Man. Yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> it's, like, it's such a foreign mindset. Do you think? What do you think would happen to you if you went on to love is blind? You built a connection with somebody like the personality is lit. Yeah. You come out, you see them, you're not attracted to them. Become yeah. best friends, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's it? We're gonna be in a hotel on a honeymoon, yeah. We're starting fights for everything. I'm just gonna be ah, like, we're starting yeah. fights every single day. But I'm I'm gonna try and get to the final. I wanna get to the wedding day, so I gotta hold up, I gotta be like like shake, you know, the shake guy. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to be like, there's something about her, you know, she's all right, but you know, I'm just not attracted to her yet, but it can grow. Wedding day, lock it off, lock it off. But the argument for it is. In the first season, you guys watched the first season, and Cameron and what's the girl's name? The the, the black and the black girl and the white white guy. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. I you don't remember. remember. I, I I know. Yeah, I, know yeah, yeah. I can't called. remember the names. Cameron and Cameron's the what, guy. Were they a remember. success story? They're a yeah, success. Yeah, they're yeah, still yeah, married they now. And literally, the girl said she's never dated a white guy before. That is crazy. She's pro black. Yeah, 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 yeah everything. Yeah. And yeah, but okay, so but there's attraction. So, but, so here, so here's here's okay, here's what on. I will say, and this is where it would get very problematic. I would ask that woman, are you attracted to your partner? Now, I would ask her now, like, are you attracted? Okay. So we get that you built your connection in the absence of attraction because you just didn't know. But now you see him, are you attracted to but him? But I think on the show, she was ne- there was never an attraction issue. Like, you know, when they're being transparent afterwards and they're yeah, like... They're still saying, I was st- he was still, it was still calm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So a lot of people are vocal. They're like, you know what? The attraction isn't there yet but I hope we can build a relationship. But with them, I think it was just like, yeah, I like what I see. Because in the grand scheme of things, he was like a tall, like... But did she like what she saw because of that the, chemistry may, they may, had? Maybe, maybe, because maybe a lot so. of girls say this, you know? 100%. Literally, you could be, be that's a six a, to the that's girl. A, that's a good point. And right? all of a sudden, you're a nine because of your personality. Imagine, imagine you were seeing a girl in two different scenarios. You were seeing a girl just on a night out or you just saw her out of motive, yeah? And she's the same woman, yeah? But then you saw the same exact woman and you were chatting to her beforehand, built a rapport with her, like had a lot of common interests, and then you met her on a date. Those are the same people. Would you like her more if you spoke to her first and developed that rapport with her or just saw her without speaking to her at all? Of course you would like her more. As long as you built a rapport and you liked her, yeah. you're going to like her. She's going to become so, more attractive so, so, to you. So exactly. For sure. So, and that... That's 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 the point. That's so you could you could already have seen that guy. So that black lady in, in Love Is Blind could have seen a guy and been attracted to him. But the fact that they built that rapport meant that she liked it, liked him even more because physically, like these are attributes that you would like in a in a guy and it's some high cheekbones or whatever. That's why the show's flawed because you eventually see them. Yeah, and then you realize whether you're attracted to, to them, them or not. not. Yeah, exactly. So... And that doesn't mean like it doesn't mean entirely that love is blind because you might. St- you might have built a connection with somebody in the absence of attraction, but you then you see them. And it doesn't even have to be like, oh, yo, like, I'm fully attracted to them. But it's just about, like, yeah, they don't, then then they're, they're not, like, unattractive. Like, exactly. I'm still okay with them. And I think that's, that's even more of a conversation to have. I think a lot of people are with people that they think are average or aren't, like, fully, fully attracted to, essentially. Yeah. For me, personally, it's become... 
I wouldn't, before I would have said like, yeah, I'm a personality person or whatever. I've, I've been lying to myself because I need somebody that I'm very attracted to, like for sure. Like yeah. I've had it different ways with different people and I definitely need somebody. I feel like love is a spectrum, yeah? This is how I feel. I feel like love, especially romantic love is going to be a spectrum. It's like we're, 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 we all sit somewhere here. I can get to the point where I love you Love is maybe like maybe in the middle here or towards the end. Like yeah. I can be in love with you and I could be in love with you, but there's still a bit of space for me to be even more in love with you if you suddenly get attractive as well. Like let's say I was with somebody that I'm not attracted to. If I love you already without me being physically attracted to you and then you become physically attractive, then I'm like, I, I'm even more into, further yeah, I go further up the spectrum essentially. Yeah. And I basically want to be, all the way on the end of that spectrum. So I'm looking for somebody that ticks all of my boxes. That's why I said, for me, physical attraction is like a personality trait. It's a core module. Yeah, yeah it's a core module and it's a personality trait. It's like, if you, I can love you if you're not funny, but if you're funny, I'm going to love you. I'm going to like you more. Yeah, like yeah. I'm going to be more attracted is that, to you. Is that natural? So is that like a, what you think a societal a trait? Or do you think, do you think you're doing that because you feel like that's, what you need to do, or do you think that's like inherent within you? Because I feel like a lot of people are like us, or like you in your scenario, where you would want to go and be with someone that you're physically attracted to over, as a core module, where it takes over other aspects like personality. Mm. Wait, wait, you're saying over? So you, you, you'd you rather so, them be attracted oh, oh, than Just over. as much or over. But I think all of us, man, I think a lot of guys rank, <laughs> rank personality. Uh, but I mean, rank, rank attraction. ranks attraction high, 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 high. Like if you're not, if, <laughs> if, if you, if, if, any, if, if you ask your, if you ask any yeah. guy like, oh, do you, do you not find your girl attractive or how do you rate yourself, your girl attractiveness? And they said something low or like even average. Most men would be like, what? You're moving mad. Like why, why, why are you with her? And, that, and that's like normal to us, isn't it? I think niggas lie, man. I think people lie. I think, I think, I think, it, I think it's very important. I think it's very important. But I think a lot of men... Like a, a lot of men don't get their ideal person. Like I think, this sounds so bad, but I think a lot of men out there acknowledge that there are girls way better than their partner. This is why I think guys and girls different. I don't think girls think like this too tough. Maybe this is very naive of me, but I don't think, so I think love is more blind. That doesn't even make sense because blind is a yes or no thing. But yeah, yeah. love is more blind for women than it is for men. Essentially. 100%. I, but I think there's a spectrum of guys. There's like, if someone that's trying to get the most attractive person in all tick measures, and there's some people that are like taking that compromise, like attraction is important, but then there's personality. It is a balance. Yeah. So you have to go and have an attraction there. Because on the other hand, you can go and get someone that's 10 out of 10 attraction, even though they're harder to obtain. But if you did get them and they could lack so much of personality which is also important so there's a balance in terms of getting someone that you're attracted to and is like aligned yes. with your values yeah. cultures like someone that you can have a good time with someone that it's, it's a balance isn't it? that's exactly what i was gonna say like literally it's like a i don't know if this is a good analogy but like a cocktail in a way where like there's different components that go into a cocktail essentially but everyone likes their cocktail different, right? Yeah. Like, I might like my cocktail stronger than your cocktail. Yeah. So let's say attraction is the level of alcohol. Like, like what Shake's saying, he needs loads of alcohol in that cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> you need loads of alcohol. But I might need a little bit, but I might need more in terms of values or beliefs or even the way they smell. Like, that. that's even a big thing for me. The, co like, co the, cocktail, the cocktail sense. analogy is kind of sweet, you know? I'm going to use that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, literally. So I feel like it's different for everyone because everyone receives emotion differently. Like, so... What, what what what's a bigger factor for you might not be as big for me. So yeah, yeah. Like I think, but I feel like there's always a smidgen but, but, but there, of there, attractiveness. There's in always that alcohol in our in <laughs> there's our drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not, not, there's no mocktails. No mocktails. No mocktails. <laughs> <there's> no mocktails <laughs> out here. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's a very very good point. I think what I was just thinking about when you guys were talking, yeah, I was thinking when you Shake was talking about having having like sex with somebody. Yeah. Do you think? So when you have sex, like let's say you're having sex with the lights off. Yeah. So you can't see nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah. so yeah. you can't see nothing now. Okay. Yeah. 
But you can kind of see something. But you know, no, you no, know no, what no, that person looks like. Okay, okay. So that's, that's what but, I was going to get to. But, but, but yeah, there's, there's because senses. There's because senses, you know... There's, because there's, you, there's feel, there's touch, there's smell. <laughs> there's, there's other, your, your other senses get heightened when you yeah, get yeah, to see. Exactly. Do, they, do they play... In, so that's a, that's a grander question now. Do yeah. they play into attraction? Or are we only talking about looks attraction? Because when you say, is love blind? That basically means blind is in relation to sight. Yeah, yeah. So it's basically saying like what you can see with your eyes. All that other stuff you mentioned, yeah, that's other senses. Like if we were asking, is love deaf? Is love this? Is love, we're asking, is love blind? So that's about what you can see with your eyes, yeah? yeah. You're having sex with a woman. Iman's kind of answering the question anyway. Yeah, yeah. You're having sex with a woman, you can't see what she's like. The lights are off, you can't see what she's like. Yeah. Are you enjoying it more with a girl that you're attracted to or you're unattracted to, or is it the same? You're enjoying a girl you're more attracted to, obviously. Because you know what she looks like. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah 100%. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. And, yeah, and, so, you can, and, and you've got other senses you can feel. <laughs> okay, <so> you <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we get it, we get it. Yeah, so yeah, for me, love, love just isn't blind, but I understand how it can be for some people. And I actually think love can grow to be blind blinder i think as you as you grow older 100 you understand that. you're not going to be as attracted to your partner that becomes less of your core in it like where, where that was a core module for you when you're younger yeah. you want less alcohol you, you, want less you don't alcohol drink alcohol cocktail. yeah it's you bad for your liver yeah, the exactly, doctor told yeah. you that you yeah. can't be having alcohol, alcohol anymore, yeah, yeah yeah so you start getting the different kind of cocktails it's so true and but you just raise a big argument here as you get older you ne- no longer find your partner attractive yeah, exactly. so but you're still in love with them so doesn't that mean love is blind? But because, no, it wasn't because, because you were attracted to them at one point. No, so and you would still be attracted to them. Like, like I just feel like it won't be as important. I don't think you just st- wake up one day and say the person that you found attractive is no longer attractive. But you know they're no longer attractive. Like you get old, you're no longer attractive. So, but but I don't think it's they're no longer attractive. I just think like. No, they're no, they're no, they're no, your... long, they're no longer attractive. They're no longer attractive. <laughs> like, well, just, I here's, here's what it, here's I don't know if that's always going to be the case. Here's, here's what it is, yeah, for me. Like, I think love, when you're in romantic love with somebody, it's like you're building something. You're building, let's say, like a a, a temple, yeah? And the temple's got several pillars, yeah? Yeah, yeah? In the beginning, for me, attraction is one of the strongest pillars like you know like when you build a temple or when you build a structure you have certain like poles that if you break that pole the whole building collapses and then you have other poles where it's just like okay this is just helping with stability but if you take it apart then it doesn't necessarily mean that the whole structure kind of collapses initially love i mean attraction is a core module so it's like a core pillar but as you grow through love, you start to build these other pillars, they become stronger. Once you've got like seven, eight, nine, ten pillars around your core pillars, they can maintain the structure even if you take the core pillar away. Yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah, analogy. Yeah. You guys are yeah, snapping no, with the good, analogies, man. man. I good. hate this one. <laughs> that, 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 that was good. That was good. I'm under pressure now. I need to, I need to bring it <laughs> on. That, that one slaps. So that yeah, that's, that's, that's how I essentially see it. So... As you go through the, the phases of like love and just being with somebody, you start to build up other things that are able to maintain your relationship. Mm-hmm. Kids can literally be one of those pillars. So like yeah, yeah. when you have kids, you, I think you love somebody more once they've given you kids because it's like we've gone through this experience together. You've given me something that like it's like an unvaluable gift that you've been able to give me. That becomes a very strong pillar that keeps you, essentially keeps you in love. So where as you get older, just like as buildings get old, their structures kind of, they, they wear out essentially. You can take away that, that, that pillar of attraction and still be very, very in love with that person. That's how I see it. Okay. 10 out of 10. That, 10 out of 10. Yeah, no, I like that. That, 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 was, like that. that was very true. They're very good. Yeah, that, that, you're essentially saying... You need some sort of attraction to fall in love, but you can maintain that love but for through, you, through other for you. But like for other people, that might not. You can still have those pillars without the attraction of exactly, love. Yeah. All, all the other things I think, I, will I, be strong pillars for that. I think our generation, our demographic, are very shallow in the grand scheme of the world. Like, I think we are very, very shallow. I don't think we can get out of it now. I think we're embedded in this culture. It's been circulated around us. Things like Instagram and the access to like the media that doesn't help. Like we're very shallow. I know I've definitely grown more shallow as I've, I'm getting older, which is very backwards. But I think in other parts of the world where it's not as common to be as shallow, I think for them, love is 
blinder. Like, again, that sounds weird saying that because blind is either a yes or no thing. Or actually, it's not. There's partially blind people. So, yeah, like, I think love might be partially blind people. Love might be partially blind for some people. But for me, yeah. it isn't blind at all. Like, it's going to sound mad, but we need, like, to see an example of an actual blind person. Like, it sounds mad. Yeah. Falling in love with Falling someone. in love. And, and they like, have wait, the ability to fall in love, exactly. yeah. And in the absence of even knowing what the person looks, looks like. like. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Yeah, 100%. That's very true. Like, we should have started with, with what you just said because yeah. we know that that can happen for blind people and that's true to them. Like, they fall in love. They never know what the person's look like. So definitely there is, we can't say that there's no ability to fall in love in the absence of knowing what your partner looks at. like. But that's not, that's not my story, though. Yeah, 100%. So I think we've agreed that Love is blind, but just not for us. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another thing in. Yeah, I'm gonna break it down into like we're gonna like actually structure it now. Do you think you could get with a girl? This this is gonna di dictate how shallow we are. Do you think you can get with a girl where you just know what her face looks like? You never get to see her body. So let's say love is blind happened, but it was only over Zoom. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. I think. I think yeah. I think there's a potential. So if you, if if you, so you don't know what her body looks like. You just see her face. That's in That's like you're so shallow. <laughs> you're so shallow. Like, you got something. You've got, you got something. something. So, so you know, like if worse comes to worse, your your body's like, not. Yeah, yeah. Your body's least, not happening. At, at least, least you've I'm got a, the face. I'm a, yeah. I look at you. Your smile is beautiful. Your eyes are beautiful. That's great, right? I I feel that yeah. You can no no. I agree with you. Like you can't fall in love with someone just from seeing their face on Zoom. Like, it just adds another layer to it. Like you could just see something, but. We're greedy. We're greedy We're people. Greedy we we want to see hell. everything. We want to see everything. We want to see everything. So, so imagine, again, same scenario, yeah. Imagine you could only see the face and then there's a big reveal at the end. You see the body and the body is like, unattract the body is unattractive to you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I get that. And being completely honest, yeah, yeah. I'd probably be less as less 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 are attracted to it than if she had a nice body. Yeah. But the fact that she had a nice face and that was caveat at that point that like we had a great conversation, like yeah. we we got to know each other and liked each other and all that stuff. I'd be more open to that. I wouldn't be it wouldn't be the most desirable scenario, but it isn't the worst scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I hear it. Uh yeah, I agree. Like if we connect on a mental level, um Need to factor in that she smells nice or something like bring that in. But if she's got a beautiful face but an unattractive body, I feel like I can work with it. If I if I if I connect with you really well yeah. and I can look at you, then I can I can work with it. That sounds it? mad when you but, say that. I can I can look at you. No, 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 you know that sounds mad. Don't take it out of context. Don't take yeah, it out of context. I, hear it. No, but I, hear it. I think she's beautiful essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But the body's not so, what what appeals to me. I what if like you could only see the body? And not the face. This scenario, is, these scenarios are mad. It's mad, yeah. But if you could only see, love is blind again, but you only get to see the body. So and I, the body is I, slapping. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be more like, I'd be more afraid on that situation. <laughs> and, 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 I, I'm still afraid, you know. I, I'd be a bit more wary. That's a bit more of yeah, a yeah, situation yeah. because maybe it's just kind of I, I would rank a face. Better yeah. than the body, or I, I know core to attraction. Hundred yeah. percent, and th that's what I would say. I'd be a bit more wary, and I'm not as shallow like that. I don't, I, I don't know if you can rate shallowness in terms of like body versus face, but I feel like if you're attracted to someone just based on their body, that is, that's that's, that's mad in it. It's like you don't even want to connect to them on a human level and on a face to face. It means I would rather look at your bum and your breast <laughs> than look at you in the eyes. I think that's yeah. kind of mad. It? it is mad. That is kind of mad. That is kind of mad. Yeah. No, I co-sign what Shake said. Like, the face is definitely more important to me because I'm talking to you every day. We're, we're conversing. I don't really need to see your body all the time. So there's definitely a big difference there. So What about you, Dej? Yeah, I'm the same. I'm the same. Like, I'm definitely... Only because I'm a really a real face person, I think. So yeah, like I'll be I'll be very wary. Like for some reason, if the body's nice, I'll be even more. I it was kind of be like I wish I didn't even see your body. I wish I didn't. Because <laughs> now I'm very skeptical. I'm very skeptical because otherwise you're gonna be so slapping. So yeah, I'll be I'll be very skeptical. What do you guys think the the mentality is around arranged marriages? Then I I understand the value of an arranged marriage. Do you think then people are in love? 
No, I don't think they're in love. I think they understand that. They can fall in love. They can fall in love. Mm. There's the potential to fall in love. In some situations, arranged marriages, like, they work or they're just easier for families to connect or for people to get married. Because yeah. if you're not in a place where you can genuinely, like, fall in love with someone on your own, you, you just, just no platform or situation where you can go out there and meet people, yeah. but you also want to get married. It's just like a, it's just a platform to do that. So I'm never going to go and hate on arranged marriages. I personally wouldn't want to be in that because we're in a country or a situation where there's so much other ways to meet genuine people and fall in love. So I would never shit on a, a, a arranged marriage. But you can definitely fall in love yeah. because you, you could just be in a situation where you, you met someone, someone's linked you up with someone and you would hope in the people that have linked you up have put you with someone who is right for you, someone that can is integral to your cause and values and someone that you can genuinely connect with based on that in the future and grow. So I, I think you can fall in love in an arranged marriage. Yeah, I, I'm for it as long as it's your choice. So there's some individuals that don't have the choice. You just have to get into an arranged marriage. I'm not for that at all. Yeah. Like literally you want to be with someone who you can have a conversation with, who you meet, you fall in love with, etc. But there's some people out there who want that actually. Like some people might struggle to talk to people personally. They're not that personable, so they find a guy might find it difficult to approach girls, etc. So having your family support you in terms of an arranged marriage could be beneficial. And I guess your family have your best interests at heart as well. So they're obviously looking for an individual. Let's say there's a girl, they're looking for a guy who can provide for them financially, who they feel like they might get along with, may have the same interests. That might not be necessarily true all the time. Yeah, but I'm just, I was just, just thinking <laughs> when you said that. Yeah. Imagine if your mum right now was to link you with a girl. Yeah, not for me. <sighs> do you know how my dad is? That would never be for me. Like, I'm good anyway, but I'm just saying. Well, who do you think, based on, your, your mum knows you more than a lot of people. Yeah. Do you think your mum knows what your what your type is? Of course not. No of course not. But that's what I'm saying. I'm curious. Imagine who your mum would. You're like, listen, mum, I'm struggling right now. I, I I need to find someone. Like I just it's I so can't jarring meet someone. Even thinking about and it. And then your mum's just like, listen, I've got someone for you. Oh. Or I will try and find someone for you. Who is she gonna put in front of me? Oh man, it's gonna be a massive. It's gonna be a massive. And it's so likely that you're not going to be... Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a mazza. <laughs> I don't know why we think that way. Why do we think Why do we think the person your mum brings in front of you, is, you're not going to be attracted to? Because I think we already established that your mum's going to go and bring someone who's more value, tradition, focused, career focused, or all those other What's things. that mean? Are you trying to say the two are not? So, <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I don't think our, our mums are going to go and put attraction in the way that we value attraction. And they're going to put, there's going to be way more alcohol in that cocktail. <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah, yeah. and that's just because that's how they like, that's how they think that we are. Yeah, yeah Because yeah, they don't yeah. really know. Because they're not as shallow as, as us. Exactly. Yeah. They don't factor in their parents, basically. Yeah. But I think they would, but they might be a smidgen. Like there's going to be a little bit there, but and attraction to the, them, like I, that's even mad. What about your like, dad? Would you trust your dad to do it for you? Then? More so than my mum, but then still, bruv, your dad, I just, nah, I can't, I wouldn't leave it. If, if I had to leave it with them, I'm sorry. Sorry, like I just can't be, I can't be leaving that to them. But would you be open to it? So let's say your mum and dad came up to you and they're like, listen, we've actually found a girl, we've shown her pictures of you. She thinks you're really attractive. Are you open on going on a blind date with her? Would no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say blind date. I'd be like, hey, that's great. If I was in that situation, I'd be like, let me see, I would ask her questions like, okay, where's she from? What does she do? Like, Get straight let, to you, let me see the picture. That's let, what you're let, let me see a picture. And then if I see a picture, I'd be like, <laughs> I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll see where this is going. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see where this is going. Innit? But I already kind of already set your expectation. That what about you? Can you do a blind date? Let's say. I would, let's I not would, say. Your I sound bare shallow. That is so not. <laughs> you sound like shake for real. I sound me. bare shallow. Um, I would love to do a blind date. You know, just as on a like a psychology experiment level. I don't see it working for me. Like I genuinely don't. I think. I think I could genuinely build a rapport. I do this now, like where it's like, I have to talk to people and I don't know what they look like. And I have to have intense conversations with them, like mental health assessments. I don't know what they look like. Yeah, yeah. And then there will come a day where I, I might eventually meet them. And it's just like, rah, I didn't even know you looked like that. Like I, yeah. I didn't even think like, at face value, I didn't even think we'd be able to gel like that. Like I didn't know you, you kind of look like that, but it works, like it works. And then it's, it's actually better that I didn't even know what you look like because I didn't come in with those prejudgments that you come in based off somebody's look. Only if 
when you meet them, they're better than the way that you expected exactly. it to be. Exactly. If it was other way, around, other way around, then yeah. you'd be like, bruv, come on. Like, why'd, why'd you <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's 100% true. So yeah, I don't think it's for me because I think no matter how much of a rapport we built, built together, if... I wasn't attracted to you, you're automatically slipping into a friend zone. And there's a zone for those kind of people, by the way, where I'm very attracted to your personality, but maybe looks wise, it's just not there. Or maybe there's an absence of chemistry that is kind of fueled by my attraction to you. So yeah, like there's definitely a zone where you can slide. There's definitely like, you know, when you're playing snakes and ladders, there's definitely a snake there where you could definitely go down and be into the, fr- get in yeah, line in the friend zone. But them zones don't last long because that person... You're coming to that situation, that person's going to be attracted to you. You're not attracted to them, so they're not going to be comfortable. You never know. Have you, man, you man ain't got friends that you, they were once attracted to you and then... That that doesn't last long. They usually will, will be like medium term and then after that, it just dies up naturally. No, I, got, because... I, got some, I got some besties that... <laughs> I got some besties well, that... He, he was attracted to who? I got some besties. <laughs> I, got some, I got some best friends. Yeah, fair enough. I got some enough. best friends that, yeah. So don't, don't, don't you think that works better for you though? The fact that you meet with someone, you build a rapport, you find out you, you're attracted to their mind frame, their mentality, their values, their beliefs, etc. And then you get to see them physically. So I'm not saying like you're going to see them at some point, yeah. but better to do it that way than see someone physically. You think she's really attractive. That might sway your trait. Your, yeah, exactly. Your, your the halo basically. effect, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you feel like whatever she says... I like it because yeah, she's attractive. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, I mean. that's the best case scenario. Imagine if you met someone, you were talking to them online or through some other medium or on the phone and you saw, and they, they aligned with you exactly and you got to see them and they're slapping. They come that, out attractive. That is the best case scenario, but that, that it just doesn't happen yeah. unless it's orchestrated on the show. But yeah, you're very right. Like someone it. needs to make an app for that. True. But what, the app would have to have only attractive people. That's what you're basically saying. No, an app, you can't put no pictures you have to talk, communicate for a number of days, and then, and then after you both that, click a lucky star, and you're like, "Yes, yeah, hey, 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 cut this off now. Hey, Let's hey, cut this off. Let's hey, cut this hey, off. That is slaps. <laughs> seriously, you know, that's right. that seriously slaps, fam. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. That's a good idea, fam. That would slap, but yeah, I think a lot of the times the reason why I wouldn't. No do one wants that. I know that would be like number. 101 in that the, um, Apple. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. If, if you gave no, that description, people sign up. For no, that. I think, I think, I think people I, go. I think people go and date nuts for convenience, yeah. and if they don't want to go for all of that long, that long stuff. So, like, when if, I, if you advertise that, there would be a market and audience for that, but I don't think it would be popular. Yeah, I think, I think people would just do it because it's like, ah, oh, this is a, a fun experience. But for me, trying to set something down, I wouldn't even want to put myself through that through that experience because I'll be thinking. If she's not attracted at the end of this, like it doesn't matter what has happened in the conversation because there's just absolutely no way. <laughs> there's no way in hell and, that and is you, happening. And this is bad. But think about the people that are more likely to use that app. Oh, yo. <laughs> no, just the psychology. Just think about it. Like, imagine, I hear like, it, I hear it. imagine yeah. if like you, you're insecure it's gonna be the about insecure the way people, you look. One hundred percent. Then obviously it's going to be the insecure people that use those apps. Yeah. And yeah. bruv, do you? She's got time for that. <laughs> yeah. got time nah, that? I hear it. That's, yeah, a, that's I, a good way of thinking about it. Man. We essentially, what we're saying was we need like a reverse halo effect where it's like your personality makes your looks better. Yeah. So the halo effect is basically your looks make us perceive people's personalities better. Mm, yeah. But we need something that reverses that where it's like your personality just makes you look better essentially. And I think it does, but not to the same extent as the halo effect essentially. Yeah. So yeah, man. I'm, my trade of thought is just why settle when you can get best of both worlds? When you can get the personality there and the looks. There isn't a lack of people that have good there looks and good so personalities. Many, yeah. Like, there's so many so people why out there. why am I going for why half? Why settle? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. It's so true, man. So yeah, love isn't blind to us black men in London. Romantic love. Romantic, Romantic love isn't blood. Yeah, blind, yeah. Let's be clear. We can love absolutely any human being mm-hmm. platonically family wise 100 percent, but romantically them lips better be popping them, <laughs> that, them teeth better be straight <laughs> that ass better say? be big when you say it like that <laughs> it sounds mad but uh you're, you're, you're right though 